Alrighty, new submission. Let's play this here in full. No sound on this guy. Cool. And boing. Cool. I'm just looking at the very beginning where this arm just kind of draws attention to itself there, where it's just kind of, it's swinging back a bit. I'm just looking at that arm very quickly. There's a couple of things where that arm goes back a bit strongly. And I think this is, it just feels like such an intentional step. I think you can relax that foot a bit more, bring those toes down to just a much more relaxed step. There's something about it being so high and so far, uh, so up here on the toes and so far out that it just feels like a very intentional stomp almost. And then watch out just for polish. Uh, sorry, hitting that. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons here. This arm as it swings forward, watch that, and boom, it's a bit harsh. Not that it's a linear stop, but it only feels like once you get to the, his butt cheek there, it goes zoom. It's a bit in Swampland, which just kind of starts to slow down a lot. Watch this. It's a bit, given that big extreme move back and swing forward, I think I would just not go as far at the very beginning. And it also has a bit of a, I don't know if that's an IK arm, but has a feeling of it kind of moves back and then locks on this frame. You can see how the elbow just kind of locks in space and then goes back. So to me, I would just reduce that by at least 50%. It's just like a smaller swing back so that you have a bit more time to ease into that stop there. Little little technical things. And same thing with um, that foot here. I think you might go a bit far there. You might want to go a bit longer on the, on the toe roll. Get that break in the foot and then relax a bit and then move that a bit sooner so it's not fully there. But you might argue... He's not fully stopped there. This would be like if he's completely engrossed in something, he would just forget. But it seems a bit strong on that foot roll. Haven't seen the shot for a while, so you know if this was before, it would be one of my my apologies there. Sorry if I'm suddenly adding things that were there before. Um, and one last thing is that foot comes up and it kind of pops down over one frame. Watch this. It's a bit harsh there again. You can soften that a bit. This is cool. And maybe this is something for you to think about. I don't think it's it's a massive thing to implement, but what if that head turn up just wasn't so gradual? There's something about that arm going up, the body up, head up. There's something about it where it just seems all us. It's not. I know it's not one piece, but there's something about it which is kind of everything goes up at the same time, and then you careful you're hitting a point where again it it pivots off. Of almost this scalp area you can put a little pin there on that head especially through here and I think it just adds to that weirdness where this hand comes to this arm speed comes to stop and then everything kind of moves forward pivoting off of here if there's anything you can do to kind of break this up a bit and watch out that counter with the chest back and the head back so maybe by having a more gradual looking forward and maybe Almost like a head dart up looking a bit and then another head dart up. So he's kind of scanning things and then suddenly realizes, wait, what is this? It's almost like he's anticipating that that glove a bit too much as he just gradually looks up here. But just on a technical point of view, just watch out for those for those pin things where body parts kind of pivot perfectly. But that's cool, I do like that. You might argue, again, picky mode here, that right through there, those arms are kind of swinging. I know they're in a different pose, but there's a slight feel of once you, once you get past here, that is a bit too in sync how they swing. Here, watch this. I wish this could be a bit more offset. They have just a bit of a 
in sync downward swing where the kind of pacing spacing is the same I'm very picky here and then watch out there's something in your roots as you have such a big jump back over I think it's a combination of like you're going from here to here it's pretty far and then there's a little bit of a you start to slow down but from here to here it's a bit smaller on the screen right move but then from here to here it's bigger again so watch out some spacing issues and then the body feels a bit flat and then boom suddenly comes down in the root but then it's just over mostly one frame and then it flattens and it doesn't doesn't bounce enough to me and then it's this thing of it gets very very soft and slow in this recovery there but then you got that very fast leg move. I know this sounds very picky, but if you watch this in real time, there's just something where the body feels a bit hiccupy, boop, 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 and then really slows in into gradual smooth move. But then if you will look at the rest, you, see you have those sharp leg moves. Boop. And the swings, they're slightly twinned, whoop, going back. And there's something where it feels slightly disconnected. If you would do such a big move, there's something maybe, I would give this you know, maybe like two more frames and have and space out and make that a bit more fluid how that root comes down and comes back up and potentially more of an overshoot and back i know you have that here but i would speed that up a bit to get to this a bit sooner so it feels just a bit messier almost i know i said smooth this out it's just a combination of just don't have any weird pops and spacing issues but at the same time find a way to to uh what's the word it feels like things are just disconnected like i don't quite feel how that leg change here has any effect on the hips and the roots it seems like there's a nice slow in on the body but then you have you know the rest of the body doing separate things i hope that makes sense you know it's almost like there's there is urgency in that step from the panic but then if i look at the rest of the roots how it just kind of smoothly in this section just kind of comes and stops. I don't know there's something this is weird disconnect to me where things are moving fast for for panic, but then the rest of the body doesn't quite have that feel. It's a very vague note. And I think it's also driven by that twinned move of those arms where it, it's almost like too coordinated too smooth so it's almost like this part upper part is too smooth but then you have the separate leg doing its own thing there this is cool it's just yeah it's just this moment those those arms just really stand out to me how the swing and then boop, that that quick leg move so to me it seems like if you if you watch out your spacing through there Give this maybe two more frames and decouple those arms so that one of them is a bit different. I think that might even just be enough. I do like what the head is doing though. Like, oh, what the hell was that? Wait, is there something else? Wah! And then that, I think that works really well. Just watch out, there's a moment through there where your head turn is very much tied to your roots and the upper chest. You can see how this whole piece here is just kind of rotating as one big blocky piece and it doesn't quite help that the arm, and like both arms almost, are doing the same. I know this guy's doing more, but there's just, there's just this moment of everything's kind of moving as one big piece. So just watch out after all of this here to kind of decouple that and make it just a bit more... You know, maybe he can start to relax his arms as he thinks, oh, maybe there's nothing here. And then have this. So maybe you might have to go from this to when he's here, or maybe those arms kind of settle and it kind of everything relaxes. Everything kind of comes back down. Gravity sets in like, oh, I guess I'm fine. Wait, what is this? And then into this, he gets that face and then that arm can come up and these guys can come up into, into that. watch out there's a bit of a move there where on this where 
again has a slight feel especially through here i know this guy goes further but this section just feels like one piece one piece is moving there and you have this very sharp move on that arm going here to here to here there's a little bit of an arc but it's ever so slightly almost too straight but he really shoots out especially with that hand pose it's like this arrow but on the next frame it kind of stays put as opposed to kind of almost continuing and having an arc like this it just feels like it pops into boom and then stays put if you play this in real time it feels like this stab this stab in the air and it's a bit it's a bit distracting just because you have you have that very sharp move that stops that's in contrast with this arm that does this very exaggerated flowy flowy move so to me it feels like you want to ease into this a bit more have a bit of an arc there recovering and then i would not have that hand pose there i would i would mess up that uh this those fingers and claw them a bit more so otherwise it feels a bit too i have a curve here and i gotta have those hands follow this same thing with with this here i know you want to exaggerate some moments but i to me it's more i see this more than i feel it it's all good when you have you know smear frames and stuff like that and it's kind of a feel but right now i'm seeing i'm seeing those fingers i'm seeing that that perfect arc there and that that curve but then it only lasts for so long and then once you get into here ba -bang, it kind of shoots back down and watch out you got that arm shooting down and once you're here not that it locks but it's almost so just watch that in real time how that arm does this arc and then boom, kind of stays put and that's kind of what you have a bit all over the shot where you have those smooth moves, fast sudden moves, and then it almost locks, but then it becomes a very soft, it's not even a moving hold because you keep going, and then it becomes almost a bit too slow and spliny. Right there. So you have some moments of almost slow motion aspects of it. And I'm not sure if you're doing IK arms, but this has also a very straight feel to it, how that arm goes down. It's a bit mechanical. I'll watch out for some more nicer arcs. And I'll go too straight. You could probably, when he's done here, and goes, ha, 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 into this. Maybe either rotate the root over a bit more or bring the elbow out a bit more so you have a bit more negative space there, just a bit. So it's not just that bulge out coming coming out there. But the feeling here is much better. The only thing I would say is I would probably after this step, I would be careful. I go in small, I mean, even though it's a bigger step here, it just has, I would be careful going too high up. Like feet can be pretty lazy and I wouldn't go, it's just very toe up. I would just go from here and maybe don't go further than this. I mean, just kind of, it's just kind of a step and having so much of a, exaggerated step feels a bit weird and just enveloping wise it gives you that kink there too so i would kind of reduce that very deliberate toe up step down thing and then pose wise it's almost like on this move you can pivot off this this toe so that you end with this foot a bit more angled like this not like that a it will it will take away from that sticky ik of i make i'm doing such a big move but I don't want to move anything in my my foot here. It feels a bit too locked. And you will change the pose so that it doesn't feel so parallel here. So to me, it seems like you want to bring this more and maybe it's a little bit higher. There's a bit more of an offset in your posing there. And I wonder if, if through here you can open the mouth. It's kind of hard to see. It gets a bit dark in your lighting there. But I'm just looking for contrast where it's not just not just that that head bobble. Hold on. It's that thing again where you you move pretty fast and then suddenly through here it gets all very almost pivoting just off the neck here. I just watch out on on your your general ease ins and outs. But when he goes like this, <laughs> I feel like you want to open the jaw for ha 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 ha. Otherwise, it's just this constant. It's almost like he's he's being told to never open the mouth. <laughs> 
or you do <laughs> and then ha on the way up here you open the mouth and bam this happens I think that's kind of it by kind of I don't being extremely picky here yeah this is cool the props are cool I think all that works and the hit and the slide all that works so yeah we'll leave it at that it's a very picky critique here uh as always you know feel free to pick and choose whatever you want to implement or what you can or time wise and all that stuff but that is it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you